All right, guys, how's it going? Shaking with Cameron with Ozark Mountain Discs, and today we're gonna to be playing nine holes using only the Jake Hebenheimer Tour Series Color Glow Moonshine Anchors. Let's get into it. There's a big group on hole one, so we're gonna be skipping uh, hole one. We're gonna be start on hole two, and we're gonna play through hole 10. All right, guys, we're here on hole two. It's about 234, it plays right down this hill. It's been cleared up a little bit. We had some storms come through and it's cleared out a little bit, but it's right up on a little ridge down there, about 230 feet down the hill. Kind of just pick a gap in between the trees and hope you miss it. Definitely out there. Holy cow. That I accidentally so far. I really want to try the forehand. I think you should do the forehand. Get down. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Punch it. It usually it punched through. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> All right, so I got knocked down by the early tree there. So I've got a long look here. We're just gonna try to jump putt it up. <clears throat> oh, stay on top. Yeah, that should be three. There you go. All right, I must've hit the backside of this hill and rolled a little bit, so we got kind of a long look. I think I'm drying it off too much. Yeah, it gets so just sticking to me. All right. All right, y'all. So we're here on hole three now. Uh, after hole one, uh, we're at even at one over. Hole three is pretty similar. 268 plays up on the ridge way down the way. There's a steady incline the whole way, so you can do a forehand gap out to the left or a back end skinny through all the trees. The only real danger is this path right here. Anything on or to the right of it is OB, so as long as you stay on the left, you're all right. I'm gonna go at the back. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That's probably parked, dude. Yeah, that seemed pretty good. I'm gonna try the same line. I really just wanna make it through the trees, though. That'll be just fine. Be a long look, I think, but... All right, just outside of circle look here. I'm gonna go for metal hit. <laughs> it's better than what I did last Don't hit the time. basket. Huh? Don't hit the basket. The oh, yeah, out. that's true. If you hit the basket, you could very easily get a roll away out of bounds. So, either, I guess, what, air ball or put it in. Yeah. Those are the best options right here. Is this outside? Oh, there's normally twins in the ground. I think so, because there's one right there. I'll give it to you. A little stepper? Get up. Oh, good six. All right, we're fine. All right, so here we are, hole four. It's about 250 straight down the hill there. It's kind of hard to see in between all the trees. You can go with a little backhand out to the right or a forehand out to the left is a more popular play. The gravel path and to the left is out of bounds. So the forehand no, it's not, is... it's the property line. Oh, is it the property line? That's what Andrew told us. Oh, okay, so property it's, it's line. Property so it's it's a league. little bit better. It's the, it's the sidewalk for league. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So not as treacherous, but there's really no OB to the right unless you land on the path and that'd be really unlucky. So the backhand is safer, forehand's more aggressive. Also, subtle plug. I mean, we're barely in the shade and this thing has already activated like the UV. So if you guys need glow disc, this thing is better than anything I've ever seen. And I have like a UV flashlight that I use to activate it. I don't even have to use it. I mean, it's daylight outside. We're just in the shade. It's already glowing a little bit. This thing is awesome. So, I think, I don't know, man. 
I go back and I, I go forehand. Just keep the backhand going. Yeah. Whoa. Leave it high. Let it glide. You do throw like Ricky. Well, deep. Dude, you're throwing so far right now. All right, I'm gonna try the. I'm gonna try the forehand line. I'm gonna put on a ton of height here. It pays off. It pays off. <laughs> Birdie. All right. My turn to do a little stepper, I think. So I'll get you. <coughs> All right, birdie there for me, so that put me back at even. Jacob Parr, so he's one down. Hole, what is this, five? Hole five is 242 feet. It's dead straight off the tee. Um, the popular line is definitely the forehand line. That's where I'm going. The backhand, the backhand's a, it's a good line, but you can definitely end way over left where you don't want to be. But we'll see. Maybe try to give this one a little run. It's kind of far. A lot of hydrate there. See how that's straightened out? Mm -hmm. And deep. All right, well, that feels good that I went long, I guess. If you have count. All right, I think I just tried to throw it too hard. I'm gonna throw it back in. What's new? Kind of gotta hit those Z trees and then uh, don't actually hit them, you know? Yeah. Oh. Sit. Sorry. All right. That one flipped up on me, rode pretty straight, so I've got definitely an outside of circle look. Um, also, I, I guess I'll mention since we're doing it, uh, we got Jacob behind the camera, a celebrity shot for the for the camera here. So if it's bad, everyone blame him. I mean, I need to get you now. Yeah. Clear of course. All right. Shout out to camera behind the camera now. We're gonna give this one a little putt. I'm Had in the circle, I think. So I'm just gonna straddle out, but I don't, it doesn't feel right to jump, so I'm not gonna jump. Hey. Oh, sit down. You don't have to get mine in, Dad. Don't worry about it. Left side. All right, a couple of pars there. So Jacob's still one down. I'm still even. Hole six is 248. It's right behind this tree in the middle of the fairway. Um, I imagine Jacob's going to go backhand line, so I'll try to go forehand line so you can see both shots. Cameron acts like he knows my game. Joke's on him. I'm throwing the forehand. Oh. All right. Okay. Ooh. That's pretty good. Well, hurts the ego a little bit. Get a lot of this guy. All right, just as I suspected, right on circle's head. It's my mini. Let's Let's put this one in, eh? There you go. Ah, you got 20. Oh! I'm not gonna lie, that one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> 
Cameron stole my mini, so I had to improvise. Pretty sure it's not PDGA legal, but this is not a sanctioned event. I didn't really said I had 20 feet. Come on. Oh. <laughs> delete that. Delete that. <laughs> All right. So here we are, hole seven. I picked up the birdie on that one, so I'm at two down. Cameron's at even. Uh, hole seven's a 200-foot straight shot. I don't know if you can see it quite, but there's two trees up there with some orange paint on the bottom. Those are marked as double mandos. So really, you just got to split the gap right there. If you make the mandatory, you're probably going to get a birdie. Uh, so that's kind of the goal. Miss the mandatory, just take a drop next to the mando trees. But that's the main goal. Make the mandatory. I just said I might go forehand, but I think I'm going to go back in. Don't fix if it ain't broke, you know what I'm saying? Just go soft, a little Annie. Put a pan in there. Oh, oh. Too wide. <laughs> Shouldn't have fan grip. It's broke. It's broke. So I have fan grip like an imbecile. All right. Forehand line. I've maybe hit the mandatory like once, so it'd be nice to get one on film. Prove I've done it. You hear Taylor Swift going on? At the pool? Burn! Oh! Oh! Wow! I don't think that's yeah, Mr. Mandatory. It's stuck in the tree. I feel like I do that every time. I, I, well, it's, I, it's because it's a mental thing. It's because you let go of, like, I let go of the disc instead of letting it come out. Dude, that's my marker. <laughs> well, I was going to throw it. All right. Just go ahead and put one in the basket, maybe, eh? It'd be crazy. Man, that would be embarrassing to miss the mandatory now. That'd be embarrassing. That would be honest. Come on, oh, do cool. it for me. Oh. A little short. Yep. Yeah. Where it lies. Right back to the middle, <laughs> where I wanted it. All right. Jumper here. Oh, get up, you dummy. Battle putt? Oh, wow, sorry. Uh, I, I was already in the motion when you said. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, here on hole eight, it's about 230 feet straight downhill. It's a gigantor tree in the middle. You're really just trying to throw a forehand or a backhand on either side. The basket's right behind it next to another uh, oak tree way in the back. So really just pick a side of this big tree and miss it. Fine, I think. See two to the left. Long one. <clears throat> I'm gonna try the forehand line. That's good. <laughs> oh, they go for that tree right there. All right, got a little C two look here. Let's try and put it in. All right, uh, birdie on the last for me, par for Jacob. So he's at two down, that bumps me to one down. We're on hole nine here. Uh, it's 210 or 212, uh, it's dead straight. You got about one, two, you got like three trees to miss right in the middle of the fairway. We're gonna try like a, a little flex line uh, forehand and see if we can't get down there. Okay, honestly, that didn't end up in a bad spot, so we'll take that. I'm going to keep going. Cameron throws forehands a lot farther than I do, so I'm just going to try to throw mine flat. Hopefully it's a turn. Dude, if that doesn't turn immediately, if I'm just like two feet right. Whoa. Whoa. 
Oh. Oh, absolutely shot down. That was about to be incredible. That's crazy. I got you. Cameron said this is a tough spot, and I said, for some. Because I'm a professional, I go down. All right, just inside circle. Put it in there, tie it up, going into the line. You couldn't write that up any better. Huh? Yeah, what's the PB got to see? All right, so. Birdie again, two down, Jacob Parr, two down, going into the last. That's what you, you know, that's what they want to see, right? Um, hole 10, the original tee pad is actually right there, um, but there's people at a public playground, so we moved up a little bit to the league tee pad. It's probably like 220-ish. Um, it's definitely a forehand around all these trees. It's sitting right in like a peninsula, um, and it's like a little, what is it, sewer? Yeah, drainage ditch. Yeah, the drainage ditch, that's OB. You can be on either side, but if you're sitting on the drainage ditch, OB. All right, I'm about pin high on one side of the drainage ditch, so it's just a should be an easy putt from there. Flip. It'll get knocked down by a tree, I think. Oh, oh in the no. Grain. He might be OB. Uh, There's all that right there? My God. Oh, let's see. Yours is also not going to be very far. Huh? Yours is not going to be very far. No, it's. Like near that first pile of brush. Oh, let's get it, baby! I'm the king! Are you kidding me? I'm the king! Got a low ceiling, too. Oh, yeah. Is this outside? No. <laughs> I really want to be able to fall forward. I'll give it to you. Alright, hold on. Nope. I'll give it to you for the showmanship's sake. Dad. I'm so mad, actually. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, God. That looked really good. We always say that, you know. No, I'm not even been. joking. <laughs> I, I fell down in emphasis, like I was about to catch it, because I was literally about to rev, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you know what, some, sometimes, dude. every dog has his day, you know what I'm saying? Every dog has his day. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Finished up at three down, finished up at two down. That's what the people came to see coming down to the last hole. Uh, super excited about these Moonshine uh, anchors. They're super awesome. They're honestly like, they, they're resembling of like a stability of like a brand new Champion Rock 3 maybe. Like pretty stable, but if you throw them hard, they'll get a little bit of pop up. Uh, I like them a lot. They're super soft. They got a big bead. They're really, really comfortable in the hand. And this one's probably going to go straight in my bag. So, uh, Jake Hebenheimer, Color Glow Moonshine Anchors are going to be available on OzarkMountainDisc.com right now. As of when this video is made, they're going to be live. You can go on Ozark Mountain Disc right now and pick one up for yourself. They're awesome. Also, if you like what you see uh, on our torso areas, yeah, uh, yeah good there. Um, we also have a coral red color as well. These are also available at OzarkMountainDisc.com. It's like a nice dry Light, fit material, lightweight, lightweight performance tee. Yeah, so go pick some up. Uh, support Ozark Mountain Disc. We really appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one.